Hi friends, this is Jennifer Terry and welcome to another Philippine travel update. I'm back, yes. I have arrived in the Philippines um, just yesterday. I am now here in Cebu doing my quarantine and it's my second day today. 20% um, complete. Um, how's quarantine so far? Um, I'm starting to get really bored. I'm coping in a way and I'm ordering food panda every now and then. <laughs> but I tabagas to scoping mechanism. But anyways, I'm going to share to you my travel in detail in another video. But today we will talk about the Cebu protocol. So yesterday po, let's cut it just short and let's jump to what happened yesterday. Um, yesterday when we landed by a Scoot Airline Singapore to Cebu, none of us got swab. Walang swab test upon arrival. Kahapon po, nung dumating kami, wala po. And when we landed, parang I felt it in the air that there was something. There was something. Kasi a lot of um, officers were in our briefing. Like, it was somehow special. Anyways, Yun nga, they told us that they received the IATF Resolution 122. This was released last June 17, but they received it, they said, last Saturday. So, um, 1918, they received it the next day after June 18, Cebu Airport received the IATF Resolution number 122, in which the IATF has called all key government of agencies to follow the IATF protocol of 10 days quarantine, 7 day testing in the hotel. And um, the ILG, BOQ, the OH, the OTR, DOLE, OWA has to follow. And they even called the Philippine National Police and the military to go to Cebu to make sure that they will implement the IATF protocol. Wow, look at them. They are now using military powers. Wow. And this was just days before, after that Senate hearing. And they're supposed, the Department of Health is supposed to come here in Cebu to study and check and assess how Cebu is um, implementing the protocol. So this is like um, the, the traitors, no? They are traitors. They're not true to their words. And they even went so far that they issued a gag order on the Department of Health Region 7 Central Visayas Office and on Dr. Mary Jean Loreche. So remember Miss uh, Dr. Loreche? Um, she has been standing side beside Miss Gwen in um, explaining, defending, justifying this Cebu protocol with backed data no on the ground. Well, DOH has told her to shut up and don't ever talk about the Cebu protocol ever again. Wow, DOH, ang galing. Try duran talaga. And with that, because um, it was always Dr. Loreche Regina has been the face of the um, science side, the medical side of the Cebu protocol, now, um, Cebu 3rd Provincial Board Member John Ismael Borgonia um, said that they will have to get other medical experts that can back up their data of their statistics on their stand because Dr. Loreche and Region 7, although they are with them, the Cebu province government, the problem is that they could not speak in contradiction with the Department of Health because of that gag order. And even my hotel yesterday, po, when I arrived, we had a, a long talk with my hotel about the, oh, this, you know, version of flights, this innovative protocol, Governor Gwen, blah, blah, blah. And he said, the hotel, the hotel reception said here, uh, oh, we were even told that um, some military men or policemen will randomly come to the hotel and check to make sure that we are um, implementing 10 days quarantine and that um, no travelers are roaming around or going outside. Because apparently though, there are, there are mm, rare. Some, sometimes there are travelers na instead of quarantining here in the room, they go outside roaming around, 
Taas baba sa floors. Oh my gulay. Please don't be like that naman. Quarantine is quarantine. We should stay in the room. No, unless there is like an emergency though. And if you can't call. Anyways. So Cebu Provincial Government really feels betrayed. With the IATF resolution. With that gag order. And sending military men pa in Cebu. Um, when we arrived yesterday at the airport. I saw some military men. Um, Coast Guard usually wears gray um, uniform, right? But uh, military men I saw yesterday, they were in green uniform. So I met some Cebu residents by yesterday. Um, um, let me shout out Ferd. Um, let me shout out also, I forgot your name, sorry, but she was an OFW. And as soon as she saw me, she was like, Hi, Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. I'm your vlogger. Uh, shout out to you. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Kuya na OFW na tinulungan ako sa aking bagahe. Um, he was sitting right in front of me pa. He, he turned around and he said, Ikaw yung vlogger. I was so funny. And thank you so much because he helped me in my luggages na very, very mabigat. Um, thank you so much, Kuya. Shout out to you. <laughs> And then, let's go back to the topic, no? So yesterday, some Cebu residents only booked for two to three days. Um, Ferd, the guy I met sa airport, I, he only booked for one night because he was expecting that he would be following the Cebu protocol. So people were really disappointed during the briefing when it was announced that everyone Cebu resident or not will follow 10 days quarantine but according to governor gwen's um public briefing today they will go back to swab upon arrival and those who missed their swab test at the airport yesterday will be swabbed today or the next few days as soon as possible huh so that's going to be interesting no but for non-Cebu residents, guys, huwag na po tayong umasa. For sure, Cebu residents, tilay po yung mapag-asa. Pero kita yung pong mga non-Cebu residents, it parang nga sa Cebu na nga, nahihirapan ang ihabol, ayaw nga pumayag ng IATF. Malabo, malabo po yung para sa atin mga non-Cebu residents. So, I'm just, it's just coming from me, from my experience po, I've been following the travel requirements and I had just landed yesterday in Cebu. For non-Cebu residents, non-OFWs, please pre-book your quarantine hotel for 10 days po. Yes po, 10 days po. Or 9 nights. That's the same. 9 nights or 10 days. Um, there were those yesterday na natagalan. It took a lot of time at the validation counter because uh, they booked for only 1 night or 2 nights. Um, there was even somebody who own who pumunta siya ng Google she looked up hotel in Cebu and then she booked oh my gulay and it wasn't an accredited hotel she already paid for it oh my gulay so I, I saw the face of the Cebu airport staff and they really felt sorry for her but they have to follow the rules and the hotel must be accredited for quarantine so they helped her book in another hotel so for that lady, I hope she can get her money back, no, from that um hotel that she booked, the first hotel. Anyway, so Governor Gwen is not giving up on her protocol, not anytime soon. She warned government agencies and stakeholders that they may face administrative and criminal charges such as illegal detention, serious illegal detention, kidnapping, should they violate the or provincial ordinance which is the 2005 or the swab, arva, swab upon arrival policy. So I kind of imagine the Bureau of Quarantine, the DOH here, the hotels, they may be confused no, on who to follow because there's this national government and then there's governor of Cebu, provincial government. Ms. Gwen is really firm on this um, provincial ordinance swab test upon arrival no and, and she has the legal backing that this is legal that this is she's following the law um just because somebody from the IETF says oh that's not um that's not effective anymore doesn't mean it does IETF just because you're the IETF doesn't mean everything that comes out of your mouth basically is a law 
it really, pala, talagang parang sila na guys nung nag-rule sa buong Pilipinas. Imagine that facial thing. The president said, uh, with Senator Soto and the presidential spokesperson confirmed it, he did really say that face shield should only be required in the hospitals or risky areas. But then, IATF appealed that it should be mandatory, indoor and outdoor. So it's very confusing no? during this time when information is so important, clear, straightforward, instructions should be given, the government is so much failing on that. Look at this facial situation. And even that ban on the seven countries. We'll talk about that in another video. But um, Ms. Gwen and the Department of Health Secretary Duque and some members of the IETF will meet on June 28th here in Cebu. They will meet, so, but it's not the first time they uh, had a meeting, no? This is like the third na with the president and in that Senate. So in the public briefing today with Governor Gwen, um, she encouraged everyone to exercise their rights to have courage during this. And Cebu lawyers challenged the IETF in court. Wow. Um, Clarence Paul Ominal and Valentino Balcaso Jr. filed on Monday today through their counsel attorney Benjamin Cabrido asking the regional trial court in Cebu City to issue a declaratory relief on the IATF Resolution 114 of the IATF. Wow. So this has gone... When this when did this start? No. March 31 when Cebu um, released the 12 test upon arrival. March, April, it was fine. It was really... It really started May na talaga. Nagkalatsya-latsya na to. But uh, close to two months na to. Parang ano ba... Can't you guys settle na, Duque? It's not like Cebu is pabaya naman. They're still testing people on the seventh day. They're still quarantined. But with the, uh, this new variant, um, the president always takes the side of caution. And talagang dun siya magsaside po sa longer quarantine ng IATF protocol po. That That is what is clear. So it's, it's a bit confusing, no? For Cebu resident, for non-Cebu residents, non OFWs landing in Cebu, no question. Just pre-book for nine nights, po. Really, the, you will need it anyway. Upon check in, your airline will check it. Um, for Cebu residents, parang nalito na din ako, guys. Pero kayo bahala, guys. Kayo na bahala. I leave it up to you. Pre um, if you can speak with your hotel, na they can refund your unused um, days. If, it, if let's say that you will only quarantine for two days, then that's good. If not, then you can take the risk of only pre-booking for one to two days. It's, some airlines are not strict naman. Like I told you, mga kasabayan ko, one or two days na ang kanilang binook, na no FWs din sila. And it wasn't an issue with their airline, so it really depends. I flew with Singapore Airlines, and they did really check. They even checked twice my booking, so it depends on the airline. But if you want to be safe, pre-book for nine nights. So that is the update for Cebu, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that we can support Dr. Lori Jean Lorece, no? Um I don't know if she has a page, but we support her, and it's really... we're very disappointed and it makes me angry this doh why she's not making up things she's only telling the truth and you're telling her to shut up to close her mouth on the issue it really shows it really shows that she is right so thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like this video and i'm back thank you so much for your um, good wishes guys for my travel i have arrived safely I'll see you again with another update. And if you have any questions about travel, comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!